everyone, this is Joe from Scarecrow Joe's Studio. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, welcome and please consider subscribing. This is going to be part one of another multi-part uh, tutorial on how to make a pirate skull. And it will look something similar to the pictures that you saw in the intro of this video. But first things first, let's go over tools and materials that you're going to need to create your skull armature and your pirate hat. Okay, tools and materials needed for this first section here on uh, building your skull armature for your pirate skull and your pirate hat. You will need a cheap plastic skull. This is just a cheap plastic Halloween skull, nothing special. We're gonna use this uh, to build our paper mache skull using this as a mold. You need some newspaper cut into strips some bigger strips, some smaller strips. Also need some regular newspaper, pieces of newspaper not cut into strips. You're gonna need two pieces, two different types of cardboard. Uh, thin flexible cardboard. This is from a uh, pizza box, a uh, frozen pizza box. That will work or any, anything like a uh, cereal box. Uh, you're going to need some corrugated cardboard. You don't need anything too thick. About this consistency, if you could see that. You're going to need a marker, masking tape, a blade of some sort, a box cutter or a serrated steak knife will work, a pair of scissors, hot glue gun, hot glue sticks, paper mache paste, and a container of water and I think that's all you're gonna need for this section to get started I will list in the description of this video a complete list of tools and materials that you will need to complete your pirate skull uh, before we get started and moving forward and uh, building our armature here for our skull this that first section um, if you have watched pumpkin reaper tutorial it's the exact same segments that I use because it's the exact same process on how I built the skull um, using a plastic Halloween skull. So if you've already watched that, that's how we're going to do it. We're going to do the same thing in that first section. So you can fast forward through that um, until we get to the latter portion of building the hat, cutting out the mouth, making the eyes more three-dimensional. Let's get to it. All right, very first thing that I'm gonna start on um, is the skull. Um, and that's why I have this uh, container of water here. And I have some uh, newspaper cut into smaller strips. I just feel it's a lot easier with something so small to use the smaller strips as opposed to these longer, thicker strips. So what I like to do um, to start is I take a bunch of my strips first and I just kind of soak them in water. I want to get one layer, um, at least one layer of strips of newspaper just soaked in water, not in the paste. And the reason that I do that first is because once this is all dried, um, it's going to release a lot easier by starting out with just strips of newspaper and water. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just going to cover this whole thing all the way around, top, front, bottom, all the way around, even the back of the skull, with these newspaper strips soaked in water first. Okay, so as you can see, I have finished uh, laying on at least one layer of just newspaper soaked in the water onto my skull. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to strip mache this with my paper mache clay. And my paper mache clay is nothing more than a mixture of flour and water to a thin pancake like consistency. I'm going to put several layers of the newspaper strips soaked in the paste on this skull. 
I am not going to be concerned about the, uh, the, the, the details in it at all. I'm just going to be concerned with covering this thing probably with at least maybe six layers of strip mache soaked in the paste um, to ensure that when I cut this off of here after it dries, it will, ha it will be nice and solid and it'll be a sound armature for our skull. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, I have completed strip machine my plastic skull um, and I have placed it on a small plastic bucket. I'm going to, it's a nice sunny day outside, so I'm going to go and sit this outside in the bright sunlight um, and that will help aid uh, speed up the drying process. Um, now, if where you live it isn't a bright sunny day, make sure you put it, these things in front of a fan and that's going to help speed up the drying process as well. All right, get your hot glue gun plugged in and ready to go as we are going to cut this paper mache skull off of the mold of the plastic skull. Um, this has been allowed to dry for approximately, I don't know, about eight hours. It is completely dry. Um, easiest way to go about this I have found is to go straight down the middle. So I take a marker and I'm gonna mark pretty much straight down the middle. Doesn't need to be perfect. All right, once you have cut through your uh, paper mache portion of your armature here, or what will be your armature for your pirate skull, um, it might take a little bit of effort, but you should be able to gently pull it apart and if I've done a good amount, a good job on that wet newspaper covering it, um, it should release a lot easier. And it is releasing a lot easier. So there you have it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue this back together. Um, one area that I'm not actually going to glue together is this mouth area. So I'm going to glue, I'm going to glue down here, but I'm going to leave like an opening here for my mouth area. Or I'm not going to put glue in that area because I'm going to go ahead and, uh, cut that out so that it has a more three-dimensional mouth. So it will look, uh, have an appearance of having uh, an opening for the mouth and not just a solid mouth. Um, give you an example of a solid mouth here. Um, this particular skull is what I created for another paper mache project that was filmed. It's the Pumpkin Reaper tutorial. Um, so this, I just, I did not cut in any of the eye holes. I did not cut in the mouth. It has a closed mouth. So that is an option. If you do not want uh, your, your eyes to appear more hollow, if you're good with just having that or a closed mouth, then you could just sculpt over the whole thing. And if that's the case, then you will want to um, add glue over the entire over the entire uh, portions where we, we cut it open. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and keeping my hands out of the mix um, one section at a time. I'm going to let this cool and then once that's cool I can flip it over and glue in the bottom part of it. Alright so before we get started um, and our next step here, 
Get your hot glue gun plugged in because you're going to need that in just a couple of minutes. But our next step here, uh, we're going to cut out the eye sockets. We're going to cut out a nasal cavity and we're going to cut out the mouth opening. So I'm going to go ahead and draw these in. So starting with my my eyes here. And then my nose, I'm just going to do a very basic nose shape. And if you have a reference picture of a skull, or if you have a three-dimensional skull, you can use that as a reference. Then I'm going to determine about where I want my mouth opening to be. Something like that. I'm going to go ahead and take my blade and I'm going to cut those out. All right, so there you have it. I very carefully cut out eye sockets, nasal cavity, and the mouth. And now we're going to block these in. We're not going to block in the nasal cavity because that's a very small hole. It's not going to be that big of a deal. But we are going to block these in and make them more three-dimensional um, so that you can't just look through them and see into the back of the skull, uh, just a hollow skull. We don't want that. Uh, very simple process that we're going to accomplish this with. Um, first things first, you're going to get your masking tape and cut off some strips uh, about that size. Stick them on the edge of your tape table so that you have them ready. I'm gonna say maybe two or three uh, little strips of masking tape will work. Now to block in these eyes to make them more three-dimensional, um, basically what I've done is I've cut out a triangle shape from a piece of corrugated cardboard and you want your cone here, this cardboard cone, to be able to fit inside your eye socket opening. So big enough, uh, small enough so that it does fit inside, or big enough so that, it, small enough that it fits inside, but not so small that it falls all the way through your eye socket, if that makes any kind of sense. Okay? All right, so I've got a piece of newspaper. Um, this is one sheet of newspaper folded in half on that crease. And basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my little cardboard cone. I'm going to put it to the edge here of uh, the folded, the folded uh, crease there of the newspaper. And I'm going to cut this out. But I want it to be a little bit uh, thicker or a little bit bigger, taller than the cardboard triangle. So there's my mark there. I don't know if you can see that on my newspaper, but I did make a mark. I'm just going to take my scissors and cut a strip. Now, very simple process here. Um, with the cone lined up on the edge of the newspaper. We're going to take this and we're going to wrap it. So basically you're going to wrap it in half and then fold it over and then one more time. Pretty simple. So while that is in place just like that, I'm going to take my masking tape and I'm going to hold it in place with a couple pieces of my masking tape. Now I'm going to cut the strip of newspaper right across like that. I'm going to remove my cone. 
my cardboard cone. Next thing that I'm going to do, and as you can see, um, this is going to fit in there really nicely. So I'm going to take my uh, hot glue and around the perimeter here of the eye socket, I'm just going to squirt in some hot glue. Going back to my cone, and I'm going to place my cone right inside there. Um, the cardboard, or the newspaper, works really, really well for this, because the eye sockets obviously are not completely round. Um, so this will fit the shape, any shape of an opening, using this method to block in and make your eye sockets or anything that you want to block in with an opening um, this is a very very easy way to do so so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to do the same thing um, create another newspaper cone uh, same same technique and I'm gonna go ahead and attach it or block it in to this other eye socket all right I've got both of my cones, newspaper cones inserted into my my eye sockets. Next we're going to block in the mouth here uh, to make it more three-dimensional. Um, I have a smaller piece of newspaper here. This is an ad. Um, I trimmed it in half and along I have a crease here. You really only need one sheet and we're basically, we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to take my hot glue and right around the perimeter, the opening on the, in the mouth, I'm going to squirt in some hot glue. Um, you can use more than one half sheet um, of newspaper for this if you want. It really isn't going to matter because we're going to go in and we're going to strip mache. We're going to trim after the glue sets and cools and then we're going to strip mache um, all of this so where it where it has the crease I'm inserting it all the way up and very gently making sure that the top connects and the bottom all the way in there. I know you can't see it. If I turn it to the side, you'll be able to see it a little bit better, I think, where you could see where the opening is. So just gently press that in so you get a good connection and let that sit and dry. And then we'll come back to it. We're going to trim all of that out, trim these. And then the next step is we're going to create our pirate hat. My glue has cooled. So I'm going to go ahead and go in here just with my scissors. And I'm going to trim around, trim out the excess. My eye sockets. And uh, my mouth. doesn't have to be completely flush so don't worry about that because we are going to go in here and we're going to apply layers of strip mache so newspaper uh, dipped in the paper mache paste and with the mouth I'm going to do the same thing I'm just going to come in here and trim that out all trimmed out and we're going to apply some layers of strip mache like I said in here 
But before we do that, we're going to move forward and create our pirate skull. The first thing that we need to do to create our pirate hat is you're going to get your piece of thin, flexible cardboard. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut off a couple of strips. Probably will only need two. Again, I'm not being super precise on this. You are going to need a couple of pieces of masking tape as well, so get those cut off and uh, attached to the end of your table. And I'm just going to take, uh, take my two strips here and I'm going to attach them together with a piece of my masking tape. With my piece of uh, thin flexible cardboard here, I'm going to determine the opening of where I want the hat to sit, and I'm thinking right about there. So in the back, that's going to be right about where it's going to sit in the back of the skull. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim that area off. I'm going to hold that in place. And then again with my masking tape, I'm going to attach those two pieces together. I don't need that. I can trim that off. This is a very simple way of measuring the opening for a pirate hat and again it doesn't have to be precise completely precise but that's about where my pirate hat is going to sit so this is going to be the opening of my pirate hat to sit right on the skull all right so with my piece of corrugated cardboard i'm going to place this uh, ring of thin flexible cardboard in the center. Now if you want a larger pirate hat then you're gonna need a larger piece of cardboard so keep that in mind. Um, first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and trace around the opening here. Again I'm not being super super precise that's basically the opening, or what will be the opening, to fit on my skull. Now, the shape of your pirate hat. Um, what I recommend is um, going online and looking up some pictures of pirate hats, basically. Um, there's all kinds of different shapes that you could use to create your pirate hat. For the purpose of this tutorial, um, I'm going to use a very basic shape. Basically, I'm just going to draw in the shape of sort of like a, uh, just kind of like a triangle basically is what I'm doing. Hope you can see that, oh, let me move it up. Or what, what would appear to be the shape of like a like a fireman's hat. Something like that. This is going to be the front of my pirate hat and then the back. And again, I didn't get super precise. It doesn't need to be. Um, first thing that I'm going to do is cut out the center here. I'm going to use a steak knife for this. I find that it's the easiest because I could 
basically I'm sitting it on the edge of my desk and I'm going to use, I'm going to puncture it and I'm going to use a basic just sawing motion. Um, using the leverage of my desk here, just on the edge to cut that hole out. Hole is cut out. And as you can see, there's some gaps, there's some spaces. Don't even worry about that. Um, I'm going to move forward now and I'm just going to take uh, with my pair of scissors and cut out the rest of the shape here. All right, so there it is. I have my basic shape here for my pirate skull. It looks very uh, flat. So to rectify that, what I'm going to do is I, I have this, uh, this is a one inch piece of scrap PVC pipe that I'm gonna use. And I'm going to curl the cardboard using this scrap piece of PVC pipe to make the creases for the front of my pirate hat and then also the two the two back sides here or back ends Um, if you don't have a piece of scrap PVC pipe, you can also use, I mean, anything this, this size or maybe a rolling pin, anything like that will do the job. Shaping it a bit. So there you have it. That's a very simple, simple shape for a pirate hat. I understand that. Take a look at it from the sides. Now, how are we going to, because we're going to eventually not only strip mache the insides of our eye sockets where we block those in with uh, newspaper in the mouth, but we're going to strip mache this hat. So you're probably wondering how is that going to uh, retain its shape after we apply the strip mache? And that's a very good question. You're going to take again your piece of thin flexible cardboard, cut a few strips, like half inch or so. And then I'm going to take uh, and cut those down just like that, a few of them, just in case I need some more, cut a few more. And then uh, get a few pieces of uh, masking tape, good size length of masking tape. You're going to need at least three. Get those stuck to the side or the corner of your desk. And this is a very, very simple, simple way to attach this, this pirate hat here. Looking at it, yep, I want it to sit right about like that. That looks good, so I've pressed it down. Because we have these gaps here, what I'm gonna do is, with my pieces of thin flexible cardboard, I'm gonna bend them in half. Making little L shapes. I'm going to take my hot glue and 
and I'm going to attach them. So I'm going to squirt some hot glue. I'm going to squirt some hot glue on both ends. And especially where we where I have these gaps where the cardboard is not meeting or connecting to the skull, that's where I'm going to put those. being very, very careful. All right, so I have uh, used my little thin pieces of uh, flexible cardboard. I've pretty much blocked in a lot of the areas where there's big gaps, um, not overly concerned, where there isn't, where there isn't a connection with uh, those uh, strips of the thin flexible cardboard. I'm just going in for good measure and squirting in some hot glue into those areas. I'm going to let that sit and cool. Right now, as you can see, I did apply some masking tape to some of those um, pieces of thin flexible cardboard there to kind of help hold them into place while the glue set. Um, so now I'm going to move forward and what I have done is I've cut three more strips of thin flexible cardboard because this is going to help me retain the bend or the shape of this hat of this pirate hat here so I'm going to bend one end just like so I'm going to apply some hot glue to that end and I'm going to attach this end right to the front right to the front of my pirate hat there I'm gonna let that cool and I'm gonna do the same on each corner back here all right and uh, again I've applied some masking tape over that to help hold it in place while the glue has cooled um, so to help retain the shape, I'm going to pull this back. And about right there, I think, that's where I want it. So I'm going to take my scissors. I hope you guys can see this. I'm going to take my scissors, trim that off because I don't need all of that. I'm going to put some hot glue on this end. And I'm going to say right about there. And again, I'm going to use a piece of masking tape to help hold that in place while it cools. I'm going to do the same thing with these back pieces here. I'm going to pull it tout. You know, it might be kind of hard to see. Um, and how much of a bend I want, probably right about there. I'm going to take my scissors, trim that off. Put some hot glue on the end. Stick that on there. Again, piece of masking tape to help hold that down, hold it in place um, while it's cooling. And I'm going to do the same with this last piece. Pull it tout and attach it with hot glue and some masking tape. And there it is. Very, very basic pirate hat shape, I know, but you can get as elaborate with it as you want. I'm just showing you the technique. Um, it works. And so now what we need to do is we're going to go ahead and strip mache our eye sockets, our mouth, opening and we're going to strip mache the entire pirate hat um, we're going to strip mache right over these thin flexible cardboard strips right over them where they connect to the skull 
into the hat and around them and then we're going to let it all dry and then we'll cut these off because we won't need those anymore but that'll be the next step time to start strip macheing um, i have my little pirate skull here on uh, this is a painting painter's wheel it's a painter's wheel um, i find it extremely useful not only for painting but also sculpting because i can turn this thing um, without too much fuss so uh, if you have one of these or even one of those lazy susans um, they come in really handy but anyway moving on i have these small strips of newspaper here and i have my bowl of paste and i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to start I'm going to start uh, strip macheing the inside of the eye sockets and uh, the, the, the mouth. And then I'll move on to the hat. So I want to make sure that I get my strip mache down in there and I'm kind of co coming up over the ridge, uh, the ridge area. of where I cut around the excess newspaper inside that eye or around that eye socket. Um, I really, I'm just going to concentrate on putting uh, maybe a couple layers in here. It's not going to be that big of a deal. I just want to make it more sturdy, give it a better support um, because I am eventually, after it all dries, I'm going to go in and apply a thin layer of clay to the inside of these eye sockets. So I'm going to carry on and uh, just making sure I'm getting at least two layers of the strip mache inside these eye sockets. Got a couple of layers in there. Don't really need too much because if you remember correctly, we created that cone, the newspaper cone, and that was several sheets wrapped around the uh, cardboard cone. So by applying the just a couple of strips soaked in paste, that's going to soak into that other newspaper in there. That will create a really strong eye socket cavity to apply a thin layer of clay once it's dry. But uh, now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the mouth here and basically the same thing with the mouth I'm gonna put at least three layers because on the mouth we only had that one piece of newspaper in there to block out the uh, mouth opening so I want at least uh, I'm gonna say at least three layers I'll put in there so that's what I'm going to do, and I recommend that you do the same if you're using this technique. Got all that strip mache in there. Three layers inside the mouth. Uh, a couple layers inside the eyes. Now I'm going to move on to the hat. The hat, you want to put more layers on there. I'm going to say at least three, three to four layers on your hat. And I'm going to use probably some of these thicker strips and may maybe cut them in half. Um, and like I mentioned previously, right over those cardboard, thin, flexible cardboard strips on the top of the hat, I'm going to strip mache right over those. So this is going to actually, the top of the uh, skull um, becomes... The top of the hat really want to make sure that you get enough strip mache um, around the skull here uh, where it attaches to the cardboard uh, pirate hat but um, it's pretty self-explanatory make sure you get enough layers and uh, on these areas here these edges you want to make sure you cover those edges as well um, because when you go to paint that and if you don't have that covered up um, it'll look like corrugated cardboard 
and you don't want that after spending all this time on it. So I'm going to push forward and get this whole thing covered, the top and the bottom here. And again, concentrating on really getting that area right here covered with some strip mache that has these openings here where the skull doesn't meet completely flush with the uh, cardboard hat. All right, so I have finished up strip mache my pirate hat here. Several layers of strip mache on there. Um, the only thing that I need to do now is to be patient and wait for this to dry. Um, I'm going to either take this outside. It is another bright sunny day outside and sit it in the sun. And that will help uh, speed up the drying process. Or you can put this in front of a fan. But don't just leave it out in the open. Put it in front of a fan or put it outside in the sun. Um, probably going to take at least 8 to 12 hours for this to dry completely and be nice and solid. So this is going to conclude part one of our paper mache pirate skull tutorial. Coming up very soon in part two. We're going to start sculpting this thing out. And we're going to create some accessories like an eye patch and make some teeth for this as well. So uh, thank you for watching as always and I'll catch you in the next one.